is in this uh, in this video we will see how the time delay can be introduced uh, by using the nested loop that is loop within loop so let us take a small example which already you know in other languages uh, let us take a c++ loop for i equal to 0 i less than n i plus plus and then uh, loop uh, curly braces opens again within that we have another loop so if you say the time complexity uh, uh, how much time it will take n into n that is n square times this loop will be executed so the same way here also you can set the loop loop within loop so if you see that first we um, for uh, we use the mvib and we allocate the uh, we allocate the data we move the data to b register so this instruction after execution of this instruction 38 hexadecimal is moved to b register then we use another register c and there we move fm then this is what inner loop this is outer loop so here what we do is decrement c we decrement this uh, immediate register then when it becomes zero it quits but when it is not zero here we have given loop one so this keep on will be decrementing decrementing and then when it becomes zero it comes to this line okay now decrement b takes place so what happens here c is initially ff then it keeps decrementing when it all the values in c become initially it is 38 b is 38 but with 38 then this counts up to f of time then decrement b now it becomes 37 again this will be executing for f of time again decrement b now it becomes 36 and so on so totally how much of 38 into f of time the whole loop will be the two loops will get executed executed so now when you calculate the delay calculation for this loop first you have to do for loop one this already we have seen in the previous video for single register we have 1.787 us so now we'll take that as it is and then for because the same value we have used that if you have used some other value then again you have to calculate so for convenience we have taken the same value for c register then loop 2 delay here uh, 56 it is tl for loop 1 time delay of loop 1 plus 21 t states how this 21 has occurred if you see that so this is 10 and this is 4 so 14 plus 7 21 so this already we have calculated here and 10 plus 7 this is outside this 7 plus 4 which is nothing but 21 t states and then uh, plus the t states of this uh, multiplied by the uh, clock period now what is this 56 56 is nothing but when you add all these things so here if you see that 10 plus uh, 10 20 20 plus 4 24 28 uh, 28 and then you have to add all these things so totally you will be getting 56 okay then uh, uh, when you multiply this you will be getting 100.46 ms so this delay can be increased how you can in increase either you can have another loop within this you can set another loop okay so likewise you can increase or you can use the register pair itself here instead of here you can use uh, lxi bc lxi hl like that two register pair you have you can use so 16 bit into 16 bit that much time it, you can delay the loop so to delay can be increased by using a register for each loop counter the nested loop set it can also be increased by adding dummy instructions like nop 40 states See here already we have uh, if you see this uh, execution of this and this it increases the time delay but this is necessary for checking so in, you can if you want to increase more time give more time delay you can use nop no operation which is nothing but that for execution of that itself will take 40 states so 40 it is 40 states into uh, 9092 times that's what so you can keep on in by introducing more uh, instructions 
uh, or dummy infections like that, you can increase the time delay of a loop. The disadvantage of the time delay by using the software, so all these things what we have done is, we have seen is using the software uh, instructions, we can introduce the time delay. But the disadvantage it depends upon the system clock. If the system clock is slow, the time delay accuracy, you cannot depend. So the microprocessor is occupied simply in a waiting loop. Otherwise, it could perform. Yes, most of the time it just do counting, decrementing. So it is not doing any other job. So in that case, the microprocessor valuable time is wasted. The task of calculating accurate time delay is, yes, it is very tedious. You have to calculate, you have to consider each and everything, and then you have to uh, calculate the exact time delay. So that is a uh, disadvantage here.